three members of the vigilante group calling itself Redding Dads Against Predators have been arrested because of what they allegedly did during one of their catches. The North State News' Max Tedford has been looking into it, and he's in downtown Redding. Max. Well, Mike, the... The, the so-called Dads Against Predators group formed in August essentially as a grassroots version of To Catch a Predator. Now, their escalating tactics have caught a lot of eyes online, and now police say those tactics have gotten them and the alleged predator they were trying to catch arrested. The members arrested were David Joseph Zimmerman, Casey Lane O'Donnell, and Cyrus DeVille Durant. All are facing multiple charges, including assault and battery, false imprisonment, conspiracy to commit a crime, and vandalism. Centered around their meeting with Keegan Taft Rivers in August, who was also arrested and charged with two counts of arranging to meet with a minor for purposes of a lewd act. According to police and the group's own post on Facebook, they arranged to meet with Rivers, who police say is mentally delayed by posing as a 15-year-old boy online, then promising sexual favors to Rivers. They met in Caldwell Park August 16th. Rivers denied he was there to meet them. Then, when he tried to leave, DAP members blocked his path multiple times until it escalated to a physical altercation, with Durant and Zimmerman being recorded tackling, punching, and kicking Rivers, who at times was on the ground. The police report states in the following days, DAP members claimed Rivers was the aggressor. However, a video police say they obtained from O'Donnell's phone showed Rivers try to leave the scene multiple times until he was tackled from the back and hit in the head repeatedly, until nearby security guards broke up the altercation. Rivers' injuries sent him to the hospital with a swollen and bloody face. Now, Rivers and the three DAP members have been arraigned and are already out on bail. Rivers' next day in court is October 15th, and the DAP members are next in court on October 2nd. Now, I've reached out to both DAP team members and the DA's office for comment around this case. Neither have reached back with that comment. Live in Reading, I'm Max Tedford for the North States News.